Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Hyperloop technology. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. India has recently approved a pioneering 40 km Hyperloop project, marking a significant step in adopting futuristic transportation technology. The project, spearheaded by the Indian Ministry of Railways, will place India at the forefront of next generation transport solutions. Now let's discuss about Hyperloop project. The project will be led by the Integral Coach Factory ICF in Chennai with support from the Indian Institute of Technology Madras. The system will incorporate maglev, magnetic levitation technologies, claiming to provide an economical solution for high-speed travel. Indian Institute of Technology Madras will host Asia's longest Hyperloop test tube, measuring 410 meters, providing a vital platform for testing technologies and components required for the system. Now let's talk about about Hyperloop technology. The Hyperloop is a high-speed transportation technology that aims to revolutionize modern travel. It involves passenger pods traveling through a near vacuum tube at hypersonic speeds using magnetic levitation. This system eliminates air resistance and friction, allowing speeds up to 1,200 km per hour. Hyperloop has been described as the fifth mode of transportation by Elon Musk. The concept of high-speed transportation is centuries old, with its roots dating back to 1799 when George Medhurst proposed pneumatic tube transport. Now let's discuss about components of the Hyperloop system. Magnetic levitation. The levitation of pods is achieved through the interaction of superconducting magnets on board the vehicle and coils embedded in the track. This system eliminates friction and allows for smooth, high-speed travel. Vacuum tunnel. The design includes an airtight tube with a low-pressure environment, minimizing air resistance and enabling supersonic travel. Energy source. To meet energy demands, solar panels are proposed to be mounted along the Hyperloop route supporting sustainable and eco-friendly operations. Now lastly, moving on to pros and cons of Hyperloop. Pros of Hyperloop Hyperloop promises to drastically reduce travel time between cities. Hyperloop utilizes electric propulsion, which can be powered by renewable sources like solar energy, making it an environmentally friendly mode of transport. With Hyperloop, people can live farther from their workplaces reducing urban congestion and the need for crowded public transport systems. Since the Hyperloop system operates within a closed environment, it can function in all weather conditions, unlike traditional transport systems. Cons of Hyperloop The construction and technology needed for Hyperloop are expensive, with the initial setup costing billions of dollars. The tunnels must maintain low pressure over long distances, and the system faces technical challenges, including the need for cutting-edge materials and maintaining the infrastructure. High speeds could potentially cause discomfort or dizziness for passengers, requiring more human trials to ensure safety. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Hyperloop technology. One, it involves passenger pods traveling through a near vacuum tube at supersonic speeds using magnetic levitation. Two. Hyperloop has been described as the fifth mode of transportation. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.